Hi, this is a message for Capricorn. Um, you can look in your chart and see um, what placements you have in Capricorn and what house it's in to see how it applies to you. <clears throat> um, I did pull three of the Alchemical Visions tarot cards to see what the overall energy was for the reading already. And there is a lot of um, blindfoldedness or hiddenness. <laughs> Um, the overall energy I got is the Two of Swords. So, this is basically you're blindfolded in making a decision on which path to go. And the message here is that you need to trust yourself. Like, you need to listen to yourself, trust yourself, trust your intuition. Um, the first card I got out is the High Priestess. Again, um... This is basically hidden from you. And what this is indicating, too, you could be dealing with a Pisces. I got two Pisces cards here. Is that um, and rather than using your logical mind, you need to go within and use your intuition. I've got the hanged man here, too. So it's like um, this is gaining insight, but again this insight comes from within this is um a need to stop and listen because i feel like you're going to really be blindfolded on what to do something may come to light though that causes you to be put in this position so i will pull the oracle and see what is coming out um for those of you interested in a personal reading, my information is down below for that. Also, my TikTok, my other YouTube channel. If you're interested in that, it's all down below. So, let me see what's coming up. This is interesting because the goat came out. And the goat is, like, represents Capricorn. Um, the devil in tarot is the goat. And it represents Capricorn. But this basically is reliability. It's having sustainability in times of lack. Like uh, if there's a lack of food or nourishment, it's always having it available. Like asking for it to always be available. So I'm going to see what else comes out because I want to see how this applies to this message. Now it's interesting because the story of the goat is basically that they would eat the goats every night and then they would bring them back to life. Thor would and bring the goats back to life. Um, and he used the bones and the skin to be able to do that. And he decided to share with people, but he told them not to break the bones because um, or to toss the bones or whatever because he used the bones to bring the goats back to life. And the goat, one, there was a person who broke one of the bones to suck out the marrow. And so when he brought the goats back to life, one of the goats had a, like, lame leg. And so then someone ended up being a servant to Thor to give the goat strength. But the two card, next two cards I got out are sorceress and cunning woman so these two cards are basically well for one it says be silent and watch um don't it says to look for patterns watch people um the sorceress is about being prepared, actually. This is really interesting. Um, yeah, the sorceress goes in confident. Um, it's about power, rituals, power, will. Okay, but it there's a need to be silent because then you'll know what what to, when to act. And so you need to be watchful, not like suspicious or worried, but watch. Don't tell everything that you see to people. Okay, so three cards flipped out at the same time. And I got 
<clears throat> focus on the light softly softly the tender touch and receiving so these three cards together basically what this is saying is that you're about to have like successes one after another just coming to you like it might be several opportunities there's a lot that's just going to come to you but you have to stop working so hard stop pushing it's like stop and let things start coming in focus on the light and let it come in let it come into you you deserve you deserve it because it doesn't it and it doesn't want you to at all focus on whether or not you yeah whether or not you deserve it because it's you do it's just going to start pouring in so relax so that it can I got the hanged man again. Okay. So one thing that this, that these other cards had talked about was the sun is the sun by just being the sun, not having to make itself the sun. So there's, a need to just be someone like just be that one with all the abundance and the success just relax in it even if it you don't see it right this second it's like stop so the energies that I got for you is that um, first of all it looks like that it says you're an uh, you got networker right but it looks like that you may be spreading information like through networking for your personal gain um i also got goddess which is the feminine expressed through wisdom nature life force and sensuality and warrior Strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will. Heroism, stoicism, and self-sacrifice. Conquering the ego. So you're a very self-sacrificing person. Now someone you may be dealing with. Um, I've got scribe. So the, this person is knowledgeable, has information. They have a selfless devotion and a single-minded dedication to spirit. A monk or nun. So they have a good heart. Um, saboteur, they could have self-destructive behaviors, though. And they spotlight your seductive qualities. So this could be, like, your partner. <laughs> um, if you have one. Or it's just someone that you may be dealing with. So, let me go ahead and get the tarot and the archetype. Now, one thing that I am getting from this reading is well I'm actually not going to say yet let me pull the archetype and tarot first yeah okay so there's like a major warning in this reading right off um okay so it says that you're right here in limbo like don't make a move yet um you got the nine of water in reverse. This is basically saying that there's a major something hidden. That, like a major flaw. Um, in crack in the foundation. If you move forward, it's going to reveal itself. And it's going to be like massively take. And it won't be good. Um, it can be uh, cause some kind of fight, contention something it might just be seem more traumatic than it needs to be so um also this could have already been revealed to you and that could be why you're in the limbo position 
but there's like contention here um, right off the bat. One thing this does say is that insisting that it be done your way is is going to be part of the issue. So um, don't so much insist on it be your way. Um, in the subconscious, you got the seven of fire and you've got the poet. So I feel like you're going to discover these flaws, whatever these flaws are, and um, you're going to be able to overcome them, work through them. But there's negotiation that needs to take place. Okay, so with the twins in the, in the um, past... This is about a partnership, some type of partnership. Doesn't have to be love, but it could be. Um, this is saying that, you know, you were like, I need a partnership to come in. You get an offer or gave an offer, and there's the partnership, okay? Um, now, you're all on different timelines, but I see a partnership here. It might be coming in right now, but there's a partnership. Okay, so. This is basically saying someone might um, offer you something that's more than, uh, like, it lure you, you in, <laughs> okay, is what this is looking like, being lured in, like, they are off, not really gonna, it's not really gonna give you what you th thought it was. Okay, so what I'm really getting from this is that somebody may be after your money. Because <laughs> um, basically what it looks like is that you might have some type of partnership. It doesn't have to be relationship, but it could be partnership because it's it really is dealing with money. It could also be dealing with pregnancy. Like someone might want a baby. And so they... Kind of, yeah, something like that. Because I got the womb and I got the four of earth. So, this is like uh, winning people over with bribes and handouts. But you might not be realizing that that's what they're you're doing and they're doing. You see what I'm saying? Um, like, people might be after your money. So I'm seeing a lot of angry people around you. I got the ace. This is your advice right here. I got the ace of air in reverse. I know you can't see it really because of the light. But um, there's a lot of angry people around you um, wanting you to do certain things with this. I'm seeing it as money, okay? So you might get like an inheritance or win the lottery or something. But um, anyway... This is saying that you need to, like, get away, like, take a step back because you need to intuitively do with the money what you feel like you should do. Not by thinking what, you know, intuitively what doesn't feel right with the money because I feel like your intuition is telling you what to do with it and you need to listen to that. Now, around you, I've got the three of water, so this would um, assume that, like, let me see what else is here. Let me get one more, actually, because the three of water is collaborations and um, things, generally things working out when it's upright, but sometimes it can be, like, an interference or, like, getting together with the wrong people. So let me see. Now I got the Lord of Fire, which is, um, you could be dealing with an earth sign. But this basically is also a message to, like, really have integrity with what you do with the money. It's, um, because there's a message in this card about helping the needy and just doing... Yeah, there's something about having integrity. Um, now, I 
in your hopes and fears, we have the Empress in reverse. So this basically is saying that like it can be wastefulness of resources, being afraid to lose what you love. Okay, um, what's the outcome for this? Well, I got renewal. I'm not sure if it was reverse or upright, though, because it fell on the floor. Okay. You must be coming into a lot of money, like, honestly, is what this feels like. Because um, there's risk of losing your integrity due to, like, enjoyment. Like, overindulging. I mean, it could be other things, but this is what it really sounds like. There's a, like an overindulgence. I mean, it could be just a relationship and like a shit ton of sex. I don't know. But I'm just saying like there's overindulgence and like losing your wisdom and integrity over it. So keep that in mind. Also, I'm going to pull some... Um, guidance cards for you so let me give you the advice cards so <clears throat> first one there's going to be distractions and like I said this is like in I feel like this is enjoyment overindulgence having too much fun um but you need to basically use your willpower to continually keep, like keep your vision in focus um, this does say to explore your intuition, right? But there is a partnership that's forming if you're not in one already. Um, and this can be business, relationship, okay? Um, but if you want to be successful, you've got to keep your focus. Um, also, and have confidence in this too, um, that you can do this. Now, some of you might be creative people, because there's something about um, being completely honest without censorship and free association. So what comes to mind, say, yeah, that's all I'm getting for you so far. So, or this time. So <laughs> anyway, um, I will see you next time. But if you subscribe, if you want to see more and yeah.